page turners and welcome back to the channel. I'm Matthew, the man with a hat who reads, and this is the girl who could move beep with her mind. And yes, I'm going to continue to say beep instead of beep because I don't know if I can get away with saying beep on the channel. <laughs> Boy, are you annoyed yet? I'm a little annoyed, but whatever. So I recently finished reading this at the end of March and I kind of wanted to talk about it a little bit. So let's dive in. What's it about? Tegan Frost is having a hard time keeping it together. Sure, she's got telekinetic powers, a skill that the government is all too happy to make use of, sending her on secret break-in missions that no ordinary human could carry out. But all she really wants to do is kick back, have a beer, and pretend she's normal for once. But then a body turns up at the site of her last job, murdered in a way that only someone like Tegan could have pulled off. She's got 24 hours to clear her name, and if she isn't able to unravel the conspiracy, then the city of Los Angeles may be ripped apart. Okay. <laughs> now, obviously, when it comes to reading a book, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. We all know this, but we all do it anyway. And Jackson Ford's debut novel, having a title like this that literally covers almost the entire cover, is pretty eye-catching. Along with all the random flying stuff. I mean, look at the poor dog. I mean, the other stuff makes sense, but the poor puppy dog. And lots of guns. I'm just realizing there's a lot of guns on the cover. <laughs> Um, so with a title like this, you're kind of expecting a fun time. And this book is a very fun time. Tegan is a character that has a lot of the same kind of snark you'd get from like a Harry Dresden. So if you've read the Dresden Files, you probably understand where I'm coming from on that. Um, it's surprisingly brutal at times. Um, the body that they find essentially... A telekinetic had used a chunk of rebar and essentially just wrapped it around their throat. And there's other sequences like that too that are very graphic at times. Oh, I'm just reading one of the, the little blurbs back here about furious frenetic fun. It's like the X Men if everybody was sick of each other's beep, a drunken back alley brawler of a book. And and it is. For the most part, I had a lot of fun with this book. I had a real fun time reading this book. Um, I only gave it four stars, and here's why. Um, first thing, and this is a minor thing because it happens, the proofreading on this book was bad. There's times where it's like really obvious that they could have proofread it a little better where it's like repeating words like back to back or phrases back to back. It's like he was, he was here or something, you know, it's just like, it's not great that you didn't, that that wasn't caught when it, on the read through. And there's a side character that we focus on. And every time we got to that care, went to that character, I felt like the novel just kind of slowed way down. At least in my opinion, as a whole, I enjoyed it, like I said, but that when that happened, it just kind of took me out of it for a little bit. I'm just like, okay, I don't care about this other character, and I understand he's conflicted, but <laughs> there's also a character that kind of does a betrayal. I'm not going to spoil who it is or what it is, but it just felt like it it just didn't seem like it came it came out of nowhere almost it seemed like in my opinion it just felt like this character was here and then all of a sudden oh no it's this and you're like no i know i'm not buying that um it does kind of end on a cliffhanger but there's like four more three or four more books in this series that i haven't gotten yet so i'm sure it'll wrap up some things but i did really enjoy this it's crazy it's fun it's it's just a fun it's a fun time i needed a book i needed a book like this it was a fun time i really enjoyed it like i said i gave it four stars mainly because of the little issues i had but i did really enjoy it i am curious to continue on with the series and i think i will continue to have a good time with it so those are my thoughts on Jackson Ford's The Girl Who Could Move Beep with Her Mind. What did you guys think? Have you read this book? Does it sound like something you would enjoy? Have you read the book and its sequels? What did you think of that? I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. 
Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep turning pages.